Why do you cover concrete or why would you cover concrete? It's probably something that you've seen before. There's a few reasons. Number one, to stop it from drying out. Like concrete is a process where you take a dry powder, you add water to it, that causes a chemical actuation process that hardens the concrete. It needs that moisture, it needs the water. If it's a hot sunny day or if it's really windy, that's going to steal a lot of that moisture through evaporation. And so usually you use poly plastic or something to this degree to put over and create a vapor barrier and trap that moisture inside so it's not just being stolen by the wind and by the sun through evaporation. That's not the only reason that you need to cover concrete, but it's probably the most common one. So what else? You could need to cover concrete because there's rain imminent. Once it reaches the point where it has the initial setup, which is to say it becomes hard, at that point, if you add water, it actually helps the concrete. It makes it cure stronger and that's better for it as opposed to letting it dry out entirely. But that's only true once it reaches that point of initial setup. If it's still in a state where water can affect it such that raindrops hitting it are going to leave little divots, that's terrible in the world of concrete. You're basically going to have to take all of that out the next day and start over again. So you might see a tent of plastic over top of concrete to protect from raindrops. So why else would you cover concrete? There's one more really important reason that you might cover concrete, and it's to prevent the concrete from freezing. If you pour concrete in cold climate areas, often you'll need to put something like heated blankets on top of the concrete at night to help it cure and prevent it from freezing during overnight lows. In theory, concrete can withstand the, these freezing temperatures, but that's after it's achieved its finished strength. It takes a month for that to happen, so it's nowhere near after the first 72 hours, and that's why you would see something like heated blankets applied to curing concrete to help it protect it during this important time when it's still developing strength. It used to be, and sometimes still you see it, you could use burlap, just sheets or bags of burlap laid over top of curing concrete to help it protect or help protect it from freezing conditions. And the way that works is that the concrete itself, that chemical actuation process, generates heat. Anybody who's worked with concrete could tell you that. So by putting the burlap over top, even though the burlap is not heated like the heated curing blankets, they still help trap in some of the heat that the concrete is generating anyway through the chemical actuation process thereby helping to make it through the coldest parts of the night to the next day. Once the concrete's like a week old, you've reached a lot of its finished strength. So you can usually at that point stop with the, you know, the heated blankets or the burlap treatment. But that first little stretch, especially the first 24 hours and first three days, that's when you really need to protect the concrete the most during freezing conditions and you might see coverings on top of the concrete. So that's all the reasons why you might cover concrete that I can think of. There could be more, but this is going to take care of 99% of the reasons why you would see somebody covering concrete, usually to do when they're placing and finishing it and protecting it during the curing process. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe.